Hi friends, welcome back. We are in the second part of the marketing research chapter and I'm going to conclude this chapter with the following um, methods of research, methods of interacting with your audience, with method of interacting with your customers and your target market. Okay, you have mail questionnaires, which has a large, we, as we talked in the previous uh, video, large amount of respondents, low cost per respondent, no interviewer bias, because you're not able to see the person who is filling out the survey or the interview, you, you do not judge them and do not write any personal comments. So that does help a lot in uh, retrieving accurate uh, feedback from the customer challenges is uh, the challenges for the system is that it is not flexible it has low response rate little sample control which means if you've selected the sample if you send out the mail you just have to go with the sample you cannot change uh, what kind of sample you have but what you could do is you know uh, the thing is when we mail out um, surveys or forms to target to customers it is very difficult to target them because they live in a particular area and it is not very cost effective or cost uh, feasible to select target customers and then only mail them it is much better to just send out mass mail or bulk mail okay which is why we say that there is very little sample control sample is nothing but the representative customer base that will buy your business then you have telephone interviewing you gather information quickly you have greater flexibility you must have heard those phone calls that come to you that hi this is just a survey we need your quest answers and everything many people answer patiently but many people hate it so this is one of the disadvantages that you know people may not like you to intrude and call them at odd hours and everything you know so you just have to be careful about who you call and what time you call then you have higher cost per respondent phone calls nowadays are expensive okay because you're not calling to the uh, customer on the landline you're calling them on their mobile and usually the uh, the phone that you have is also not a landline phone usually you use your own company mobile phone so this is a little bit more expensive especially if your customer is more geographically dispersed another concern here is the interviewer bias okay because if you talk to somebody and you know with using their tone their accent and uh, their temperament and the responses you try to you 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 can't help but judge the personality so there is a chance of you you know uh, disturbing the survey a little bit by adding in your own opinions then you have personal interviewing which is also a great option if you had the time and if the person you are interviewing agrees to answer honestly you have individual interviewing you have group interviewing you have focus group that is you know that is a representative sample of your target customer base you have this focus group of six to ten people okay and you have a moderator or a person who is going to take the interview challenges are that this is expensive it's time consuming people do not want to uh, participate in such interviews because you know, normally what happens is when you are giving away information nowadays, you have to be very careful and people are not very comfortable sharing private information. They want to stay anonymous as possible. They want to hide their identity when giving opinions as much as possible. And uh, when you are interviewing somebody personally, you have to explicitly ask for permission whether you can print or their uh, responses and you know quote them and stuff like that so you have to be very very careful expensive number one it is expensive it is difficult to generalize from small group and consumers are not always open and honest just because of the fact that i just said that sometimes people most of the time nowadays they do not prefer that you uh intrude in their lives or they do not prefer to be very honest because you know a lot of things like you know analytics and you know social media and everything they help us make a judgment out of a person 
which is not a very favorable thing for consumers okay to uh, expose themselves like that marketing research contact methods now you have online marketing research in online marketing research you have internet surveys you have online panels you have online experiments you have click stream data online focus groups so you may have all of these things and these are more um they come in a comfort zone area where you know you can tell the customer or the consumer or the focus person or the sample that you know your data is going to be hidden and you will stay anonymous and your answers are going to be you know uh, mixed with others so you, no one would ever find out it's possible in the online environment especially if they connect with you remotely for example answering emails uh, surveys and emails etc all right and many people also participate in online experiments it's easier to do so and sometimes you know they even expect an incentive in terms of cash or money or something like that and also in this format you can expect a little bit more honesty a little bit more honesty than the or face to face format okay sample is a segment okay sampling plan now let's come back to the sample the single unit of your research with this, which is a sample sample is a segment of the population selected for marketing research to represent the population as a whole who is to be surveyed how many people should be surveyed and how should the people be chosen so these are the things that you decide in your sample for example who is the person to be surveyed okay and how many people should be surveyed and also uh, how should the people be chosen so these are the things that you sit down uh, in your strategic planning and then you come up with these answers and then you uh, go ahead with your research sampling all right then you have this research instruments available to you questionnaires is one of the most common research instruments for marketing most common administ administered in person by phone or online it is flexible research must be careful with wording and ordering the questions so you have to be very careful with these things and then you have our uh, the other thing that you have apart from questionnaires is the closed ended questions yes and then you have open ended questions closed ended questions include all possible possible answers and subjects make choices among them okay so these are the type of questions that usually ask for yes or no or choose from the following answers okay to pick a response here and uh, these closed ended questions are usually you know directly tabulated they are easier to tabulate and interpret because there is no coding associated with the answers for example if you look at the open ended questions they allow respondents to answer in their own words number 1 but uh, these own word answers have to be coded okay and all these coding uh, coded answers have to be segregated they have to be grouped and then it is tabulated sometimes this is not very clear uh, the tables or the deductions from uh, such open ended questions are not very accurate not very clear and you know they're a little bit hazy and blurred but closed ended questions are very very clear but the difference between the two is closed ended questions do not allow freedom for answering which means that if i have an answer that is not present in one of the groups one of the choices that i'm given i may not want to select anything that's in the list and it's not fair that i'm forced to answer a question so those are the things that make people slightly uncomfortable okay what is the best choice in a situation the best best choice could be based on the intelligence level or the maturity level of your target consumer or the sample that you are testing if they are if you feel that they are very mature they are very you know um uh, educated and uh, they are experienced in life and everything by all means you open ended questions provided you have the time as well because you have a very meaningful feedback with open ended questions provided the 
uh, person, the people involved, the participants are capable to answer these questions. And if you feel that your participants or your sample is immature, you know, the childish, our children, then it is a good idea to use closed-ended questions. Okay, another, okay, let me go back. Another good idea for using closed-ended questions is when you are trying to determine something from the business perspective, from the product or the service perspective. You are not trying to find out what the customer thinks, but you are trying to improve your product from the product perspective, so you want certain answers. You want in certain yes, certain no, certain maybe, certain not sure, and then you need to you need to work, go back and work on your product or service. So sometimes closed-ended questions help you with that very well. Okay, here's the last sli slide for this lecture: e-learning, uh, sorry, the marketing research, and what you have here is the implementing the research plan. Number one, the first thing that you need to do is when you have a business idea when you're trying to go about your business and you already have a business plan made and you already have some of the products up and running and some of the services rolling already you need to come up with a marketing plan in order to um, diversify your customer base in order to attract more customers and improve your market share and in order to do that you need to have a scholarly scholarly research approach so you need to make sure that your research is marketing research is very systematic and structured and in this lecture that's what we accomplished in this video we accomplished that um, implementing the research plan involves the following steps you have collecting the information processing the information analyzing the information interpret your findings draw conclusion and report to management all right, if you have any questions related to these uh, steps, you are free to uh, write up a comment in the comment section and I would be very happy to answer. You can also, it's also a great idea to begin your research now. You can share with me your business plan or business idea and I can help you with some marketing, uh, you know, strategies, marketing solutions for your business idea. And the best thing to do uh, to go about a marketing plan is to follow this uh, research plan covered in this video. All right, good luck. And I am going to now begin chapter five. See you shortly.